Right, welcome back to another video everyone. This morning I am off to Pro Tire in Colchester. They are a specialist tire fitting centre. They do MOTs, they do servicing, they do, um, they've got a Hunter system with a four wheel alarm which I'm hoping to get on camera. Um, all of the guys down there are amazing. Um, I'll try and talk you through as much of the process as possible of basically how the tire fitting process works. I've got the manager Steve helping us, I've got a guy called Mark and I've also got a guy called John that's going to talk us through the, um, the Hunter alignment system. So without further ado, let's get into this one and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Right, welcome back to another video guys. Today you join me at Pro Tire and Culture Star. I've come in today after loads of recommendations from you guys on Facebook and other social media sites. Um, I'm basically getting, it's come to the time where I need two new front tyres because I'm stage two now and I'm rinsing through tyres I know on business. Um, like I say, Pro Tire are a very highly recommended garage to me. I've come in, I came in yesterday to see the manager Steve. Um, and he's basically recommended that I go for the Falcon ZE310 tyres. They're A rated in the wet. So this time of year they're going to be perfect. Um, I am looking to go down the semi-slip route on some 15 inch tire, 15 inch wheel, sorry, um, in the summertime, but obviously given the time of year and the weather conditions, that's just not right for now. Um, but in a second, I'll quickly hand over to Steve and basically he'll go through why Pro Tire is such a good garage and why they get, have got such a good reputation, basically. Hi there, my name's Steve. I've been the manager of Pro Tire since 2015 in Colchester when we opened the doors and I'm going to run through some of the reasons why you should use us for tyre fitting. One of the main reasons is we're a Pirelli performance site accredited by Pirelli, which is a very high level standard of tyre fitting, which enables us to fit from a Ford Fiesta all the way up to a Lamborghini, Ferrari. All vehicles are treated exactly the same. No matter whether you've got a Fiesta or a Lamborghini, the work's done exactly the same. We also offer many other services, 
not just tyres and alignments, we also offer brakes, suspension, servicing, MOT class 4, class 7, we pretty much cater for most needs. ProTire, we also have 150 garages plus nationwide. Um, we've got four main ones in this area which are stalled for performance tyres, Dunmo Tire Mart, uh, Ipswich Auto Fit and obviously ourselves. Um, they all run to the same high level or standard across the company which keeps up the good name for the company. We, one of the main reasons Jamie came in yesterday to see me was a recommendation for our four wheel Hawkeye alignment machine, which we've got two tracking specialists on site and we're able to cater for most trackings on vehicles and four wheel alignments. I'm now going to take you round to the tyre fitting bay, Jamie, and hand you over to Mark, my tyre technician, who's going to run for you through the process of how we fit a tyre and pro tyre. Excellent. Thank you very much, mate. No worries. Cheers. Now, and basically, you just got a little seat cover there and a little floor mat. As you can see, just to make sure that we keep the inside of the ST nice and clean and tidy. They don't just do it to my car just because I'm here today, they do it for everyone just to make sure it's all pristine. So thanks for doing that mate and we'll get it in. Okay, what we would normally do is go through the job sheet. Normally I would get this from Steve, the manager. Uh, it would obviously have the information on there in a way. Obviously, the two fronts is obviously what you have it. Yep. The entire size and obviously it's up to you whether you're having the Toyos or the Falcons. Yeah, I'm going for the Falcons today, just this time so of year. The yeah, they're the sensible Falcons. for this time of year, definitely. They are a good tyre, I'm not going to admit. But what we would normally do anyway, we would normally check the other tyres anyway, just in case you do need it. Yep, so perfect. Anyway. Perfect. All right. Well, this is called a tread tap gauge. Obviously it measures the, the uh, millimetres of the obviously the tread on the tyre. Just to let you know, the two rear tyres, the one on the near side rear is absolutely fine. But the one on the outside rear is slightly wearing it's on three mil the inside edge. Okay. So you are going to need probably possibly a falcon on that one at some point, but you might do it in a pair. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll come in for we'll come in for two more falcons in a couple of months. No worries. Perfect. The thing we normally would do is obviously you get your brake bar and you always crack off the nuts first. Never use a gun. Um, just for the people at home, Mark, why is the reason not for using a gun? Because you are, if it's obviously a standard uh, lock and wheel nut key, they're slightly different and they have uh, bits inside like a special uh, pattern. Yep. If you use the gun, you'll break them. Okay. That's it, you can't get them off. And what we normally would do is we'll charge, we would normally charge you this dynamic tool, which is an imprint, which will make the pattern of the, the lock and wheel lock key, and we'll be able to remove them that way. Okay. Right. Perfect, mate. The uh, reason why we would normally we, we would use the scissor lift. Yeah. Uh, because obviously your vehicle is low, and obviously with slice guns, we would rather use the jack. Perfect. Just so we don't damage anything, yeah? Perfect, mate. Thank you very much. As soon as I've taken the wheel off, what I would normally do is check the bits and pads, make sure they're not thin, and make sure they're absolutely fine. Not only that, we also check the springs and the shocks, make sure they're not leaking or there's no broken spring. Perfect. And yours? It's absolutely fine, mate. Perfect, buddy. But, I must admit, your tyre is wearing extremely heavy on the inside edge. So what does that indicate, Mark? I would recommend a wheel alignment. Okay, perfect. Uh, basically what it is, is to see your tyre sitting nice and straight, slightly toned in. So all you're doing is you're driving on that part of the tyre. Okay. You're not really touching. So that's obviously going to make traction worse as well? Yes. Yeah, per perfect. Alignment, yeah, yeah, perfect, buddy. Very, very quickly. Okay, mate. All right. As soon as we obviously take the wheels off, rub down the hubs, make sure they're nice and clean so when you put the wheel back on, there's no corrosion or anything between the disc, or should I say the hub and the wheel itself, so it will sit nice and flush and it doesn't. What will happen is, if there's anything behind it, the wheel nuts will slightly come loose. Okay. And then your wheel will obviously come off. Alright, thanks for that, Mark. That's the last thing you want. Right, what we would normally do is when you pop the wheel or pop the bead on the tyre off the wheel, the 
belt has to be over here. You don't want the belt here because if you end up hitting it with obviously the machine, you will end up breaking your TPM and stem, and that costs obviously money, and that's the last thing you want. Yeah, that's exactly it, mate. Oh, well, it costs you more money. You always have to valve at a 12 and a 1 o'clock angle. Okay. Because obviously, when you put your bar in, when you take the feed over, it goes straight over the valve. Got it. It doesn't stretch and end up hitting the valve because obviously, like I said over there, the last thing you want to do is damage the teeth in this thing. Got it. We always rub down the rims. So obviously the tyre sits better and you don't get any corrosion or anything and there's no leakages. At the same time, as you're obviously rubbing down your rim, you're making sure there's no cracks in the alloys. Because the last thing you want is obviously a crack in the alloy. And obviously I wouldn't be doing my job properly. If you've got a crack in the alloy and you go away, you have a blow up. Okay. We've obviously had one for that damage that you obviously had. Yeah. Well, just taking the tyre off, I've just noticed, obviously there's a bit of slight rub flap damage on your tyre journey. Yeah. Obviously where you've had a punch repair previously, they haven't buffed down the actual tyre itself. Right. So it hasn't, the puncture plug, it hasn't stuck to the tyre. So what's happened is obviously it's slightly peeled away, and obviously you've leaked air, which has caused uh, run flat damage. Which is not good. Which is not good, because what will happen is it does obviously run flat damage. It causes damage obviously to the sidewall. As soon as you put air in that and you run out at a certain temperature, you will slightly get a bulge in the tyre, which if you're going down into your carriageway and you're doing 70, 70 mile an hour, You'll have a blow up. And it could just and pop off. Is yeah. the last thing you want, especially going 70 mile an hour. Yeah, exactly. Right. Check the valve, check the TPMS them, make sure everything's all okay, which to me, that is absolutely fine. But obviously, as soon as I put the tire on and flay it, I would check that, make sure that's not leaking. Okay, perfect. Does, then that means you're going to need a new TPMS stem, which is absolutely fine because you just take that screw off, that sensor comes off. Put a new stem on, it sits back in. Okay. Yeah. Every time we take the tire off, we always check the TPMS stem, make sure it's not cracked, cracked or perished or anything like that. But obviously, you did say that one of your TPMS stems, when you washed the vehicle, you had a load of bubbles coming from the stem, which means there is, there is a bit of corrosion there. So, what yeah. I'm going to do for you is I'm going to replace the stem, which is there. They're very cheap, they only cost about £12 if that. And what you do is you take the sensor off, I'll bar undo in that screw, cut that new stem out, put that sensor on there. Before you put it on, put a little bit of V-seal around there, which is a uh, V-seal, uh, it's really liquidly. And as soon as it goes off, it turns into rubber. And then that will give you a seal. Perfect. All right. Yeah, thank you, mate. No worries, buddy. That stuff you put on the tire, what is that? That is called paste. It gives obviously a lubricant on the tire. So obviously without lubricant and rubber and metal which causes friction, which burns. And what will tend to happen is you stretch the tire and you rip the bead. Okay. And if you rip the bead in, then you're gonna have obviously bulges and it ain't gonna sit. Just damage yeah. the tire basically. It will damage the tire and obviously you will have a blowout because if you crack if you stretch it, you, you you crack the wires inside the tire, which causes out shaped tires and stuff like that. Got it, mate. Got it. All right. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, mate. No worries, mate.
Well, this is the balancing. This is obviously top vibrations for the steering wheel. If you don't balance the wheel, you'll get a lot of vibration through the steering wheel at high speeds. Okay. Um, and obviously you want to prevent that. Yeah, of course. So, all right. So what we do is take off your weight because it's an alley. Take it off with a plastic knife. Yeah. Because obviously you don't want to use a knife because the last thing you want to do is obviously scratch your alleys. Yeah. So all around scratching alleys. You don't want to scratch alleys because obviously you have to spend a lot of money on it. Okay. So what you would normally do is you hold it to about there. The level marker here, which is the laser. I'll just come in and get that. So you've got a little laser there, yeah? Right there. And that's where you would put the 40 grams, obviously, 20, 20 either side of that laser. Awesome. Which is obviously dangerous. All right. Yeah, cheers, buddy. Before you do that, make sure you clean that area up. Because you don't want to put sticky weights on dusty wheel because they'll fall off and then obviously you'll get a vibration for the steering wheel which is exactly not what we want which is the whole point of obviously doing this process in yeah place. yeah so would you like silver weights or black weights uh, i'll go for black weights i think okay. mate i think black will look better if that's all right okay. i'll go for the tail would normally snap them like that but as you can see you get that don't you and yeah. you don't want that, so what I would normally do is, so obviously you count your 40, I'll do, I'll do that again. They all come with 60 gram weights. Because you're asking for 40, I'll get a knife, and I'll cut that like that. Yeah. And look at the difference. Perfect. It's presentation at the end of the day. Yeah, let you me know? just get above that so we can see. Yeah, that's amazing, mate. Yeah, perfect. All right. It looks a lot, a lot neater as well. Good that, like that, the laser, and then 40 grams, 20 in either side, stick that down. That's nice and stuck on there. And then what we do is put the liquid down, see where it comes up. Okay, five grams. Five grams is okay. But I would just check to see where that five grams is. Yeah. In all honesty, I wouldn't really worry about five grams. Okay. Five grams is just literally a pebble in, yeah. the, in the tire. Yeah. If it was ten grams, then yeah, I would try and get that down. Okay. Five grams or even zero. Yeah. So five grams is respectable. Okay, perfect, mate. Yeah, thanks. So I take the wheel off. I always give the side of the wheel a clean to get all that tire paste off. And I'll do that with every wheel I do, whether it's still alley, old, new, presentation, and then we'll make. Thank you very much. No worries, worries buddy. That's a, a lot of percent of five grams is literally. That's within like tolerance, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tolerance. Lovely. As soon as you put the wheel on, and you put the bolt, bolt in, obviously, you make sure you set the clutch. It's like I was saying before, if you have friction between the wheel and the hub. You don't want your wheel nuts coming loose. Yeah. And all that is fine. Perfect. Yeah, so basically now the wheels and the hubs have been rubbed down, guys. It's made Mark's job a lot easier, fitting the tyres back up and making them nice and make, making the wheels nice and tight to the hub. 
So when he's putting the nuts back on, it just makes his job a lot easier. And everything's nice and true and straight. Quite an overlooked purchase as well. It's worth putting the money into tyres when they, you know, if you've got good tyres rather than spending just on budgets. Or even pulp ones. Yeah, it's just not worth going down that road, is it? No. With pulp ones, you don't know the reasons why they come off the vehicle in the first place. Yeah. So they could have been, say, for instance, in an accident. Yeah. And obviously, that, that tyre has had sidewall damage, which, as I was saying before, obviously, run flat damage, which has a bulge. Yeah. I've had that before where I've hit a pulp one before on a customer's car or they've had it fitted before they come in and they've had bulges in the, on the tyre. Yeah, which is not what you want. No. The price that you pay for a tyre for a pulp horn, all you have to do is put probably an extra 20 odd quid on, on a new tyre and it'll last you twice as long. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Okay. After getting the torque wrench, because I know the torque saying for these vehicles in a way, which is 135, I will put that to 135, but obviously some people don't know the specs or the talk settings for wheels, so what if they don't know, there's a way to start on the wall here, which will have most of vehicles. So yours is obviously forward here, uh, Ford Fiesta, which is here, 2013, which is the ST here, which is 135. Bang on, mate. Yeah, sweet. All oh, right. And obviously, all vehicles are all different. Yeah, you uh, can see that up there. All the vehicles have got all different settings for the yeah. torque figure. If you go like Jeep, they're like 135 to 136. Uh, Kia's are 100 to 98. Um, so everyone's different, basically. Every vehicle is different. And you've got to make sure you get it right. You yeah. need to make sure you get it right. Because if you don't get it right, your wheels are going to come off. Yep. And you know when the wheels come off. Honestly, before you do the torque setting, you always take the vehicle slightly down so it's on, on the ground and then obviously you talk it up. You always go in a side panel. Perfect. Once you've done that, take the vehicle all the way to the ground, and you just double check. You've got that. None of them move. If they do move, you go around again. Okay. If they keep moving, you just keep going round and round and round until they stop moving. Perfect. Thank you, mate. I was just saying, in here, this is where, if you want to know your pressures, there's normally a little like, no. sticker in the side which tells you what pressures you should be running. And on here, it says, 36 on the front with obviously one to three people and then 26 on the rear. Obviously if you have more than four, four to five people and everybody in the boot, like all the luggage in the boot, you put the front to 37 and then you put the rears to 33. As soon as you've got everybody out of the vehicle, just lower those pressures because what tends to happen is if you overinflate a tyre, obviously it eggs out and you'll yeah. wear heavy. Which is what you don't want. Middle. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously overinflation, you'll wear obviously both edges. Got That's it, mate. You can tell obviously overinflation and underinflation. Okay, mate. All right. Yep. John, who's going to be doing the alignment on the car. So if you just want to talk us through the process, that'd be great, mate. Yeah, now obviously we've done, we'll sort the tyres out on the uh, on the car for you. Um, next process is check the alignment just to make sure that it's driving straight and it's not going to wear those tyres unevenly. Uh, first of all, we'll just drive it around the car park just to make sure that the suspension is all settled and then we'll run it up onto the alignment ramp yep. um, uh, and which is the Hunter Hawkeye system which is the, uh, the latest system on the market. Okay perfect, thanks mate.
We've now got Johnny with us. Mark's finished fitting the, fitting the tyres, and we're now on the Hawkeye alignment. So um, Johnny's just going to run through that. Yeah, uh, right, so the tyres are all done, uh, Mark's completed that. Uh, we're now going to get it up and do the uh, wheel alignment check uh, just to make sure that the, uh, it's all going to be driving straight and true. Um, now I've got it on the alignment ramp, um, I'll go through the process and uh, show you what happens. Perfect, cheers mate. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take the details on here, load them onto the computer, and then I'll go through the settings to get more settings and specs uh, there are for this vehicle. Uh, we cover a wide variety of vehicles um, through from, from your, every, uh, from your uh, average day to day cars up to your supercars as well. Perfect, mate, yep. What we do, we will uh, equip the gauges to the side of the wheels. So, basically, what they do, they will clamp to the actual tyres themselves. Uh, we can do the majority of lowered cars on this round with these gauges. Um, this one is acceptable, we, we will be able to do it on this vehicle. Excellent, thanks mate. Right, so we've got the gauges all uh, set up onto the vehicle now. I'm just going to uh, add the specs into the system uh, and then we'll get out and find the settings for the, for the vehicle itself. Thanks, mate. The uh, specs onto the system. Uh, I'm now about to do what's called a compensation roll to get the measurements of the angles uh, to make sure they're okay. Perfect. Uh, this is the process uh, of measuring, doing the compensation roll, uh, rolling forward onto the plates, making sure the, the settings go into the green onto the system, um, hold it in place, uh, wait for that to calculate that, um, and then after uh, we will measure the caster, and then that will give us our settings, uh, and then we'll know how, how the vehicle is sitting at this moment. Yeah, so basically it's just making sure that it's all perfect before it does the final check. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Excellent, bro. Right, now uh, measuring the caster, um, just turn the wheel from side to side, uh, the computer works this all out um, to stop itself. There's the caster. Things to mention is the brake gets locked on and also so does the steering wheel, so it all stays fully aligned, That's which is right. really, really clever. Yeah don't want any kind of movement whatsoever because that will have effect on the settings. Yeah. And then the, the, the steering wheel is fixed in place so we know that it is central uh, and we know it's going to be in line. Perfect. There we go. So, um, this is uh, an image of the, the track in itself. This is the rear of the vehicle. Uh, on this particular vehicle though it is not it isn't a rear adjustable. Um, as you can see at the top here this is your camber so these are negative at the moment um, and then you've got your toe which is slightly positive not quite even, can have an effect on the thrust angle and it driving straight. Yep. Uh, flip to the other screen, um, this is the front. Um, again, at the top, you've got your camber, which is sitting nice and negative at the moment, which will help with, uh, which will help with the handling of the vehicle. Uh, this particular one is your caster, um, which at the moment, this is sitting fairly even. Now the caster determines whether how far the, the wheel sits forward in the arch or sits back in the arch. Um, and then this one at the bottom, this indicates the actual toe. Um, as you can see at the moment, the toe isn't sitting particularly straight. No. Uh, you've got a slight toeing on the on the near side front, uh, and then the offside front is towing in quite a considerable amount. So this is what we'll be adjusting to make it straight. Perfect. Thanks, John. Well, this is the uh, track end and track rod. Um, we will be cracking off this nut here and then adjusting the rod, uh, and then that will bring the toe in and toe out. Uh, and then bring it back into manufacturer specification. Perfect. Uh, like I said, this is front toe only, um, so that uh, that will be the only adjustment um, that can be done on this particular vehicle. I can, mate. Um, I can or can actually adjust um, most manufacturers on the market uh, and aftermarket equipment as well. Excellent, thank you, mate. Okay. Bye.
Right, so the process is complete now. We've adjusted the uh, track run ends back into spec. Uh, we're just going to make sure that the uh, lock nut is now tight and secure. And there we go. All done. Complete. Thank you very much, John. You're welcome, thank you. with Mark at the mobile van. We also cover 24 hour mobile breakdown, emergency call outs, any hour of the day. Jamie's gonna attach a number for you to the video. As you can see, it's a full setup. So we'll be able to cater for anyone's needs if you're stuck at the side of the road. Give us a call. Right guys, so I've literally you join me in the same place, the same location, it's pretty much the same lighting because it's been so dark all day. Um, I've just finished that pro tire. I cannot, and I'm not just saying this, I cannot speak highly enough of the whole team there. Um, Mark was really, really helpful with like just learning about how the whole tire fitting process actually works. John was amazingly helpful with how the hunter alignment system works and taking the time to explain to me how all of that works and everything else. Um, and Steve, the manager of the whole place, like massive, massive shout out to Steve because without the um, help of Steve, this video would not have been made possible today. So a massive shout out to Pro Tire once again. Um, the links to the, um, the site of Pro Tire will be down in the description box. And there'll also be a contact number there. Um, as you'll have seen in the video, they do 24 hour breakdown. So any of you guys that are in the local area or pretty much anywhere in the UK, if you're stuck, they'll be able to come and get you because they've got depots all over the place. Um, but for all you guys that are local, the number will be down below um, for them. So definitely, definitely check that out. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure you subscribe um, and please give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.